everybody. My first premiere in January in Teatro Comunale di Bologna will be Wagner the Flying Dutchman. On my table you can find a lot of different materials, illustrations, scores, books, all these are used to get better in touch with the libretto, with the story of the opera, but also with biography and style of the composer. I am coming from Ukraine, and in Ukraine there is no tradition to perform their works by Richard Wagner. So for me it was very fascinating to start to go this way absolutely alone. The first time when I get in touch with the music by Richard Wagner was one case when in Lviv, after my uh, lessons in music academy, I was in one shop and I bought these CDs, Die Walkyrie with Sir Georg Scholte. And when I heard to this CD, I was absolutely overwhelmed and yes, I was really shocked and impressed by this music and it's become my absolutely dream to conduct the music by Richard Wagner. Slowly and slowly, my dream comes true after my successful participation by Gustav Mahler, conductor Wettbewerb, where I get the third prize. I become a student in Dresma Music Academy. And after this, I was very lucky to be a musical assistant by Kirill Petrenko in Bavarian State Opera House in Munich. How you know from the biography by Richard Wagner, both cities, Dresden and Munich, are very, very important for his life. In 2017, I get my first invitation to be a conductor for Wagner Flying Dutchman in Grand Teatro del Liceo in Barcelona. This was my first experience with this exciting sport. And after I get absolutely amazing invitation to be the first woman conductor by Bayreuth Festival, Wagner Festival in Bayreuth, unique and very prestigious music event in the world. Because only 10 operas by Wagner are allowed to be performed, and the Flying Dutchman was the last opera, only 1901, for the first time. In the same year was performed also the Parsifal. The decision to perform the Flying Dutchman in Bayreuth was made by Cosimo Wagner. She was the first stage director for first production in Bayreuth, the Flying Dutchman. Now, when we are thinking about Richard Wagner, we are thinking immediately about brilliant, huge production, great orchestra sound, great voices, big and impressive stage sets. But the works by Richard Wagner were not so successful from the beginning. As a child, he was very early fascinated by the theatre and his first theatre experience he made himself when he was playing in his garden with the dolls, with self-made costumes and productions and his first audience were his mother and his sister. After he works in different cities of Germany as a Kapellmeister in the theatre, he met his future wife Nina Planner. Because of his extravagant lifestyle, he did very high spendings, which he was not able to cover. And in one point, Wagner decided just to refuge from his creditors, to illegally cross the Prussian border, and so only the captain on the ship Betis agreed to take Wagner and Nina Planner on the board and to do this trip to London. But this trip became very soon a disaster because it was interrupted by the bad weather, powerful storm and high seas. The ship on one point took refuge to Norwegian fjords in Wetterstand and the trip expected to be on a day becomes more than three days. As a young composer, he had in his pockets the letter 
by very famous composer Giacomo Meyerberg with the suggestions to be accepted for the next production for Grand Opera Paris. On his meeting, Wagner gets the answer that as a young composer with no name, he has to wait at least more than seven years just to be on the list and to be on the row to get the invitation to work for most famous opera du Barry. His story of Lion Dutchman really interesting. They said that he has only one possibility to sell his prosa sketch and to let another French composer to compose the opera to his staff. Of course, Richard Wagner was very angry, but it was not another way, so he really sold his libretto for a small amount of money, around 50 francs. It was absolutely a disaster for his professional expectations. No money situation. Wagner was forced to write the articles for the Parisian newspaper and he was even not able to pay the cost to rent an apartment in the city, in Paris. So he was forced to go out from the city in few kilometers to Paris in the province, he rented the very beautiful apartment in Maidon. This apartment is really a unique place for Wagner lovers. It belongs to the private person Agnès Sauvé La Riviere. You can contact him and you can visit. And I did this in advance to my conducting in Bayreuth. I met for the first time Agnes, the writer for children, the literature, and it was very exciting to get inside. To enter the house, you have to cross through the glass floor, which means ocean and water, and when you go inside, you are light on the ship and when you go down to the kitchen you are like under water. To the time of Richard Wagner in this house was on a French guy. In the 19th century he almost tear the clothes and wigs from 18th century and he was also the owner of collection of rare musical instruments and maybe this is why he felt solidarity with poor young musicians, Richard Wagner and his wife, and he rent this apartment for very, very small money. On this edition, Wagner worked during his life, and here we can read in his autobiographical sketches. He was so poor that nine months he was not able to rent a piano. He collected some money to rent a piano and to start compose the opera Fliegende Holländer. This story is well known from Middle Age, but in the literature Wagner had found the inspiration by Heine. In satirical story of the Memoriam den Herrn Schnabelewowski, by Heine is everything happened in Amsterdam during his protagonist is attending the theater performance with Flying Dutchman piece and it's written very, very funny. Then Dutchman, who once has sworn in front of the devil that he, in spite of the fiercy storm that was just blowing, will circumnavigate a promontory. And if not, that he should also have to sail until judgment day. The devil took him at his word. He shall wander around the seas until Judgment Day, unless he will be redeemed by faithfulness of lady. The devil, stupid as he is, does not believe in the loyalty of women, and therefore allowed to cause a captain to go ashore once a year and to marry, and in such a case to get his salvation. Poor Dutchman! He is often glad enough to be redeemed from the marriage itself and to get rid of his redeemer and then to come back on board. But 
of Atila, it was not a funny story. It was a very dramatical story in which he is making the discussion with his own destiny. The relationship with his wife, Nina Wagner, was very problematic. Wagner was very jealous to his former actress wife and also made very negative experience when already in the first year he surprised his wife Nina with another man and after she confirmed him that yes, she started a new relationship. This is why the subjects of faithfulness and betrayal, the redemption through love become a central subject of this libretto but also for the whole Wagner's oeuvre. Only in the story of Lion Dutchman there are 28 places where Wagner is meaning these words. But even though Wagner demanded it from women, he himself was never faithful and sought his inspiration in the relationships with extraordinary women looking for the ideas for writing operas. This is also the topic for researchers and I think the important point that gives his music the narcotic and magnetic power. Love Triangles is another important theme in all his operas. There is an interesting study by Max Graf, the musicologist from Vienna, who belongs to Close Cycles by Sigmund Freud. He draws a parallel with the personal details of the biography of Wagner, who himself was not sure who his real father was, Friedrich Wagner, of the actor Ludwig Geyer, who very soon married his mother after the death of his first husband. This question bothered him all his life. The first production in Western was absolutely not successful. Wagner was not happy with the soloist cast, also the stage set was built not impressive and uh, the public, the orchestra, the singers they are absolutely overwhelmed about the complexity of this score. And so only after four performances the production was cancelled and changed again to the Rienzi because Rienzi was in old grand opera style public uh, liked this production, but uh, all this fiasco does not stop Wagner and he started to work on the score and only in few years, also conducted by composer himself in Berlin, it turns to the huge success and big excitement by the public already about the Flying Dutchman opera. There are a few more proofs that Wagner turns this libretto and composed very personal story of his life. On the beginning, the storytelling was as by Heine. Everything was happened in Scotland. And only three months before the premiere, suddenly Wagner made the decision to change everything and to remove the place of the story to Norwegian. And primarily also few characters had a different names. So for example, the Eric was not Eric, but Georg, and Daland was Dormant. And for Wagner, it was so important to change the place already during the preparation, during the rehearsal. And this is a lot, because you have carefully to change every point in the libretto, in the text. He was forced to change also rhythm, and especially, for example, for the choir parts. And he did this just to get this story more personal, more closer to his own life. Now we as conductor are very lucky to be able to work with wonderful materials 
and you can really study everything on sketches. For example, these three important sketches which Wagner took with him to show in Opera de Paris. You can see everything what he changed. To the overture, Wagner took a big inspiration from Beethoven 9th Symphony. Wagner attended the performance for the symphony during his time in Paris and he was very fascinated. As a conductor, Wagner did a lot to do this great work to be accepted in the early 19th century. As a ninth symphony, it starts in D minor. The overture of Wine Dutchman also starts with empty queens, but in totally different character. The main Holland motif is like a scream for help in the middle of the abyss. From the first seconds, from the first notes, you are immediately getting in the condition of extremely excitement and you fear that it will happen something really incredible. You are immediately involved into this um, overwhelming element, this ocean. The whole story is full imagination for your fantasy. This is a turning point from early romantic works, from his experiment into the direction to big musical dramas. Wagner's popularity as a composer is confirmed by the among of the illustration of famous artists dedicated to the operas of Wagner, but also by the among of caricatures uh, which uh, were made during the life of Wagner because his ideas provoked very intense discussions in the public. You can find also a lot of funny things. How, for example, this marketing company for Liebig Extract with pictures from Wagner life or this wonderful famous Hutschenreuther porcelain which was made in the cooperation with Bayreuther Festival and Wolfgang Wagner. And I am very, very excited to conduct my first production in Bologna because Bologna is absolutely Wagner city in Italy. We know the Ducamo story and also Wagner gets the honorary citizenship by the Bologna mayor and you can see a lot of fantastic original scores and documents by Richard Wagner in Bologna Museo della Musica. Wagner's contribution to the board is determined first of all by his opera reform, without which it is absolutely not possible to imagine the future fate of opera genre. In carrying it out, Wagner sought to the embodiment of global and universal ideas to the unity of music and drama, to continuous musical and dramatic action. I am really looking forward to open the new season in Teatro Comunale di Bologna with this exciting opera, The Flying Dutchman, and I hope to see you there.